Are you looking for a boat bargain that needs a little bit of work but is a steal of a deal? Then come with me for a quick walk around tour on this 2011 Mayliner 335 Express Cruiser here at South Mountain Yachts. She's got a lot of features. She's got air conditioning, an extended swim platform, electronics, cockpit cover, windlass. Just an overall nice, big, large boat. The issue is she's got a frozen port side engine. Maybe a magic mechanic can revive her. We can't, so we have her out at a very low wholesale price. Everything but the engines work on her, according to the owner. She's a steal of a deal at about half price. Come with me for a quick walk around tour on Life is Good. Viewer today, make an offer tomorrow. Fix her by the end of the summer. Get that steal of a deal here at South Mountain Yachts. Starting off at the starboard side, this gives us a nice profile on this 335 Bayliner Express Cruiser. We see that stripe could use a good buff and a wax, bring it right back to life so she'll be good looking. Notice we have the large slash windows to add light into the cabin and stainless steel port lights. Here at the bow, we have a nice high rail, plow anchor, windlass, and remote controlled spot. An LLI, ladies like a feature on this boat, is down below. We've stored a couple pads so that you can fill up that foredeck and enjoy the sun. Coming down along the port side, this gives us another view. We've got multiple hatches right there and our Taylor curved windshield. Notice we have a forward bimini on a stainless steel frame right there. And then here at the aft section, we have another stainless steel frame. The canvas on the bimini has aged out, needs to be replaced. Here we are at the transom. Notice we have an extended swim platform and we even have an additional rail with more rod holders right there. Stepping aboard life is good. We get a sense of just how much extra space there is here. We do have our boarding ladder off in the corner. This is a covered bait tank with a padded seat underneath there and we've got trunk storage. Notice off on both port and starboard we have these formed in fiberglass steps so we can easily go along the gunnel in the side. <clears throat> we enter the vessel through this starboard door. We have our stereo control back here and our hot and cold shower. This makes it easy to clean off, put a chair out on the swim platform, and enjoy the rest of the day. Entering the vessel, immediately to our left, we see we have that L-shaped seating with a cocktail table and additional beverage holders right there. To port, we've got a refrigerator, a trash container, and a wet bar, and a nice little add-on Corian countertop section right there. Moving forward through Life is Good, we see the port. We have the LLI, ladies like it, chaise lounge seating. And for entertainment purposes, again, here's another view of the L-shaped seating right there. Moving forward, we have this double wide helm seat right here, which actually swivels so that the driver can be part of the group and enjoy the conversation area right there. <clears throat> here at the helm, we have the wood grain dash panels, wood grain and leather wrapped 
steering reel right there. Down below, all of our operational switches, bilge pumps, horn. We have additional accessory switches. And below that, we have all of our fuses there. We have our Mercury shifters and throttles right there. And let me point out, we do have a side thruster on this boat. It's actually a bow thruster to help us slip her nice and easily. Our electronics include our Garmin GPS 4120 map. I have it set up on a split screen and our stereo control is right here. Down below a VHF radio, up above engine operational gauges and our compass right there. The windshield has been covered with a film which is easily replaceable. The upholstery is in repairable condition. We do have a tear right there. Engine access is nice and easy. Just lift this up. And then with a touch of a button, just open the hatch. It's hydraulically operated. Notice we don't have to move the table or the back seat either. Engine access is nice and easy. We have a wide opening. We have a secondary support right there. This is where our table will store. And the issue with this vessel is that port motor appears to be seized. We've disconnected the starter. We've tried to turn it from, from the pulley and we just can't get it to work. Let's call that engine seized and maybe a magic mechanic can get it running again. Good for them. The starboard engine starts and runs and you could see the results of salt damage this is what happens when you break a hose and then don't clean the engines using a, a salt way product uh, and rust guard protection over here in this corner we've got five batteries and overall there's a lot of room in here to work on those engines. And again, with the touch of a button, down that hatch goes. Access to the Ford deck is nice and easy. Just close the door, make sure it's latched up the steps, up, up, through that center line window, and there we have our Ford deck. Great place to lay out on. We enter the cabin through that center line door and down three steps. This gives us an overview of the cabin interior. We see Immediately to port, we have our galley. Bayliner's done some nice upgrades on this. We have a Corian countertop, stainless steel sink with a pull-out faucet, stainless microwave, and down below, we have our refrigerator. All the appliances work. Coming down further, we see we have a flat-screen TV, which actually pulls out and swivels also. Some nice cabinet work and drawer storage right there. Forward, we have a large V berth. It's over seven feet on the angles. Sleeps two in comfort, three nice and cozy. We do have a privacy curtain, accent lighting, and that overhead hatch for light, air, and safety. We also have the dual port lights right there. Now as we circle around, we have our dining area right here. And again, lots of storage up underneath there. 
the table can be lowered for another filler filled in sleeping area right there that gives us an idea we have the curtains kind of rolled up another hatch overhead for light and air and then our owner's manual packet right there and then our temperature control is easily accessible in this corner right here we have our fully lined fiberglass head flush toilet port light now for a shower that faucet handle pulls out just like on an rv and we've got a nice sprayer right there pulling back we see those steps now there's storage in there also but here's one of the best features on this boat we have a private aft cabin with a door you notice this area here is a little bit higher so you can stand here and change in and out of your suit we do have a little seat built in storage underneath and our power panels right here this bed back here is double wide and full beam for the tallest people we also have a hanging locker there in the corner this is a filler pad right here and we've got cabinet storage right here also this boat is loaded with storage it's big massive and roomy as described earlier the issue is the port engine is not working life is good is well priced at wholesale with a little attention new motor buffalo axe somebody's got a heck of a boat at a phenomenal discounted price viewer today at south mountain yachts